this is the season when the weather is changing. People tend to get sick. So it's good to use the breath as your medicine. When the energy is good to the body, blood circulates well, you're a lot less likely to get diseases. We can't guarantee that you won't get any at all, but this helps alleviate, prevent some of the diseases and makes them lighter when they happen. So keep the mind settled down, because that's the other thing that tends to make people sick, is that the mind becomes its own enemy. It gets worked up about this thing, that thing, the other thing, turns around and can make itself sick. That's totally unnecessary. I mean, the illnesses that come from germs and things, those are going to be in the world. But the illnesses that come from the mind when it starts becoming its own enemy, that's something that doesn't have to be there. So look at your mind. Is there any way that you're creating any unnecessary stress for yourself, any unnecessary greed, aversion, and delusion? You try to work yourself free from those things. Part of the way to do that, of course, is to listen to the drama, practice concentration, but you also have to develop your own discernment. See where you're weighing yourself down unnecessarily. And a lot of these things that you're weighing yourself down unnecessarily are things you really like or you really want. You think you can't live without them. So you hold on to them and they make you sick. So you have to ask yourself, do I really need these things? Does the world really have to be the way I want it to be? Or can I live in the world as it is? And figure out okay, what's worth focusing on and what's not worth focusing on. There are a lot of issues in the world where you can make a difference. But if you spend your time focusing on things that, where you can't make a difference, you've wasted your energy and you get yourself worked up over nothing. In the meantime, the things you could have changed, you could have improved, don't get dealt with at all. So learn to step back from your attachments, the things that you hold on to as being the most important things or the things you want most. And ask yourself, if you really got those things, would it make that much difference? Try to focus on the things that, when you make a change, it really does make a difference. Things that where you're more in charge of the possibility of change. Sometimes we hear the Buddha te teaches all about change as if that was all he had to say about the topic was, well, there's change. But that's just the beginning. The next question is, okay, what changes need to be made, what changes don't need to be made? What changes, if you try to make them happen, are not just not going to happen at all? Waste your energy. You start to get a little bit more selective. Which changes are under your control, which ones are not? Learn to use your discernment. Make distinctions like this, and the mind will become more of its own friend rather than its own enemy. And it will be cause of health rather than illness. <laughs>